Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and another video on Gran Turismo 7. I have noticed something on the game, so let's get right in. And as you can see, beside the lap time challenges we have already done on this channel, PD hooked us up with a new one, which is Honda Racing EMS Attack. And we have a challenge class as well as a U17 class, which in the end should be the same lap in Spa in the same car, which is the RA272 from 1965. And they are celebrating that Honda participated for the first time 60 years ago in Formula One with this specific car, I would say. So let's get in. Let's go for the challenge class first. In the end, it is the same lap as mentioned. And let's try to check out how to do it. And the current time to beat, at least for the challenge class, is a 231.1. So let's get on track, get used to the car and try to beat the gold time. Coming out of the last corner in second gear, you really need to hit the power very early. The car doesn't have that much torque out of low RPM, so you won't have power oversteer. Then your first brake marker is around the 100 meter board. Break hard in a straight line and go down to first gear, then turn in, upshift to second and again early as possible back to the power again. Now accelerate and try to avoid over revving the gears to not lose you any time. Position the car to the right hand side of the track and go to fifth gear which will be the one you use for all roof. Then turn in and cut the curb and just before the curb lift the gas pedal, let the car coast into the right hander and once you notice the car is straightened up, go back to the power fully, cut the curb on the left and carry all the speed to the camel straight. Now there is a small right-hander and within this one upshift to sixth gear, then position the car to the left-hand side of the track and then your next brake marker will be around 130 meters. So shortly before the 100 baud, brake in a straight line and go down to third gear, try to keep it as narrow as possible without hitting any of those posts. Do not invalidate your lap. Try to keep it narrow as well for this left-hander and everything is done with the accelerator pedal. There's no braking. Now lift again slightly, keep it again narrow to this post without hitting them and as early as possible back to the power in third. Upshift to fourth and your next brake marker is shortly before the curb on the left-hand side. Again brake in a straight line and go down to second gear for the right-hander. Early upshifting to third again, keeping it narrow through the corner with some slight power input and then back to the power. Your next brake marker is shortly after this opening in the fence on the right-hand side. So brake shortly, keep third gear, keep it narrow and as early as possible back to the power again using the curb for acceleration. Up to fifth gear and then the next brake marker is shortly before the 50 meter board on the right-hand side. Brake shortly but hard and then downshift to fourth gear, get narrow for this left-hander and then try to use some power input without going wide or understeering and then feel the car lifting and giving power input before fully going to the power again upshifting to fifth gear without going wide. Then the next brake marker is shortly after the 100 board. Brake hard and go down to third gear and then let the car rotate into the corner, again not hitting the posts and then shortly back to the power before lifting the pedal again, no braking action and then back to the power again. Put the car to the left hand side, your brake marker is shortly before the curb on the left hand side. Brake short but hard and go down to third gear, let the car rotate and I messed this one up so I had to use second gear. Back to the power and third and then you want to steer in shortly before you upshift to fourth gear. Lift the pedal, let the car coast and as early as possible back to the power. And again, avoid hitting the post inside the corner, it will invalidate your lap. Then rev out those gears and go up to 6th gear, keep it narrow in this left hander and then go to the really right hand side of the track, lifting the pedal, going down to 5th gear and keeping it really narrow on this left hander before going back to the power in 5th, using all the width of the track without going wide and invalidating your lap. And then the last brake marker is the 150 meter boards left and right of the track. Brake in a straight line and position the car to the left, then go down to first gear, go over the curb on the right, and I could have done this a little more. Then up to second, cutting the curb on the left, and again early as possible back to the power, and then go in a straight line to the finish line, and hopefully have a time to get 2 million credits and the gold medal. And as usual, let's review the lap once more from Chase Cam. Coming out of the last corner in second gear, you really need to go to the power very early. The car won't oversteer because it has low torque and no RPM. Then position the car to the left hand side of the track, going to fifth gear, your brake marker is the 100 board. Brake in a straight line, go down to first, keep it narrow on the right hander, up to second, and again early back to the power. 
Then rev out those gears without over revving them to not lose any time and go up to 5th gear for Eau Rouge. Then you want to cut the curb on the left hand side and just before the curb lift the pedal to let the car coast into the corner and once you notice you straightened up back to the power cutting the curb on the left and carrying a high amount of speed to Camel Straight. Within the right hander here go up to 6th gear and consider giving a like to the video and subscribing to my channel. And then your next brake marker will be about 130 meters. So brake in a straight line, go down to third gear and try to keep it narrow to the right hand corner, not hitting the posts. Then again keep it narrow on the left hander, no brake action required. Shortly back to the power before lifting again to get the car turn in. And then back to the power again after this right hander in third gear. Go up to fourth gear, next brake marker shortly before the curb on the left hand side. Go down to second, early back to third and keep it really narrow in this right hander before going back to the power in third. And after the opening in the fence, shortly brake, turn in, keep it in third and as early as possible back to the power using all the width and the curb for acceleration. Go up to fifth gear, the next brake marker shortly before the 50 board on the right. Short but hard braking input, down to fourth gear and then turn in and then play with the accelerator pedal to feel the grip, feel the car understeer or not and as early as possible back to the power, shifting up to fifth gear and then around the 100 meter board brake again in a straight line, go down to third gear, keep it narrow on the right hander not hitting the posts, short power input before lifting again for the left hander and then back to the power again in third gear. Up to fourth, the next brake marker is before the curb on the left. Go down to third gear, and I messed this one up as already mentioned. Back to the power in third, and your turn in is actually shortly before you shift to fourth gear. Then lift the pedal again, let the car rotate into the corner, and as early as possible back to the power in fourth. Accelerate all the way through and go up to sixth gear, keep it narrow on this left hand corner, and then go to the very right hand side of the track. Then again lift the pedal down to 5th, keep it narrow in this left hander and as early as possible back to the power using all the width of the track. Now keep it in 5th gear, the brake marker is the 150 meter board, brake in a straight line, go down to 1st gear, cut the curb on the right, upshift to 2nd and cut the curb on the left and then as early as possible back to the power for the last time, going over the finish line, hopefully getting a gold time and 2 million credits for this challenge. And yet again, guys, that is it for this week's lap time challenge. Or not this week's, this month's lap time challenge, actually. In the Honda RA272 from 1965 on Spa. You may not only win 2 million credits, by the way, if you participate in this one, you will also get a Honda Civic Type R in the Super TiQ 2024 edition, whatever that is. And you will also receive a new PSN, a special avatar. I don't know what this one is, but let's see. Let me know in the comments how you handle this one and this one is available until the 1st of September so take your time, it's really a lot of fun so go on track, try to improve your lap time and as usual if this guide helps you out to do this feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel and then I say thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.